Do you know how to create this video without any uh, high-end softwares? And uh, it's very easy. Let's do it. Gaussian splattering. That's a technique used in this video. Now, you might be wonder how does this works. When you are 3D scanning any object, uh, it will store all your values in a point. So it's a point in cloud. You can create any the environment, any 3D object with this splatter technique. When you're using old technique like a mesh scanning, so it will be like this. It's not that detailed. But if you're using the splat technique, you will get the, the best result. Now, how to scan this Gaussian splatter? I'm using my iPad. You can also use your iPhone or any LiDAR uh, enabled mobile phone. Here, you can use Luma AI. But the problem with this, it will take uh, more than three to five days to process your data. So here, I'm using Scanniverse. It's a completely free. Here, click this uh, splat option to scan. Now, you just have to uh, start recording and uh, scan your object or you can scan person the landscape object whatever you want get maximum angle for the accurate more detailing now click on this process once you're done now wait for the processing now we can just save this project and close now go to library here you can preview your 3d scan with the splatter splat technology now uh, if you want to export this click on this export model and use this PLY option for the exporting now save your file into your files how to use this Gaussian splatting inside After Effects so there's one plugin called Gaussian splatting and you can download it from uh, this website and uh, it will support you can uh, crop your the 3d scanned object the a specific area and there is a lot of control like you can control the noise and the colors the color hue saturations and everything there's a lot of options you can and if you click here you can uh, purchase this plugin okay now uh, first uh, you can create a new composition uh, that's a landscape and yeah the duration up to you and uh, create a new composition and uh, drag and drop your the PLY the splatting uh, the Gaussian splatting files I just drag and drop into the project window from here you can drag and drop into the timeline here it look like now create a new sold layer and uh, just press ok and go to FX and here you can see the Gaussian splatting if you install this plugin if you go to the FX control of this solid, you can load up to 10, 10 3D uh, Gaussian splatting models. And we are gonna load the first model. So drop down and click here and load your model. Now you can see everything. To control the camera, you can add a new uh, camera over there. And you can also adjust the focal length and everything. I'm just setting 35 mm press ok yeah now if you are, uh, hold on the alt and click and drag you can control your camera and everything you can zoom out by right click and uh, drag yeah, like a 3d how you usually control the after effects this is the Gaussian splatting now if you don't want any uh, uh, unwanted area you can under the model one you can crop this enable this uh, okay I'll just increase this size you can crop shape enable you can just enable and if you turn on this preview you can see the uh, preview area where are we cropping so now the shape is spear you can change the, the crop shape into box and so now it will be a box shape and uh, you can adjust the box size over here and the position and everything yeah. this way you can adjust the crop and everything now i'm just uh, disabling going back to the default mode uh, if you go to fx and splat scale just enable this 
and uh, change the value into one percentage now you can see uh, it's like a very dot uh, all the points separately and also if you increase this shape size you can see the more area it's covered now you'll get some hud kind of effects now uh, you're gonna add some uh, transition into this okay if you are seeing this block over here you just have to hide this uh, our PLY file okay anyway back to solid and uh, uh, now go to the splat color and enable this splat color and you can increase the feather and uh, the size as well you can adjust here so now if you want to change this color go to color gradient and uh, yeah you can double click and change these colors double click and uh, yeah change these colors now to get okay now if you are increasing the shape size you can see it's spreading throughout the area I want this uh, spreading in a transition way so the technique actually add one more color gradient option by double click here and uh, click here change the color into black and add one more here by double click and click again and change the color value into black so uh, here what you can do now okay i'm gonna change this color also a little green okay that's too much it is that little green okay now if you change this uh, color shape size you can see uh, this black is spreading and uh, it's kind of revealing effects and also if you want the the starting point into this top you can adjust the shape center by now if you're increasing the size you can see it's starting all the way from the top yeah now you can see that effects change the shape size and uh, make it zero go to the starting frame add a keyframe go to one or two second and increase the size Okay, if you press U on keyboard, you can access the keyframe. Select the keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, ECEs, and the ECEs, and go to graph editor, change the graph something like this. Okay, now uh, it will be like very slow, then fast. Okay, now the problem, uh, it's a uh, it's kind of out transition it's not a uh, revealing so the technique to reveal your actual footage here uh, I found this one add the load model 2 and enable model 2 and select the model the same splatter now it's already more it's loaded now here go to FX and uh, splat opacity just enable this and uh, yeah you can increase the feather and uh, you can increase the shape size so now just to decrease and also the same way you can uh, just increase the height of the starting point you can also reveal the actual video or you can do actually make it zero go to the first keyframe the first frame and add a keyframe here now go to the same keyframe and increase the shape size 
Now here uh, you can adjust, okay, if you press U on keyboard, once again you can access the keyframe values, select this and click on the keyframe, right click on the keyframe and apply ECEs, go to graph editor, put the same uh, graph values, similar graph values, you can see that animation also loading at the same time. Now if you want a little delay, you can change the keyframe position. Uh, it's like a revealing little delay, but that's too much. Uh, I'm gonna put the same, yeah. And this is kind of okay. Now, if you if you want this, the second one, in a cropped, uh, yeah, yeah, it's revealed. Okay, now uh, you can add a lot of uh, FX like uh, go to the model one FX and uh, okay, sorry, uh, you can uh, enable the splat noise. So go to noise, enable the noise enable and uh, you can add the preview where you gonna add the noise and uh, you can change the amplitude also something like this now it's gonna be starting noise and uh, you can adjust the shape also from here so add a keyframe at the end and another keyframe in the bottom and also you can add a uh, noise settings and the noise evolution so it will be keep changing so go to the first uh, frame and a keyframe for the noise evolution go to the last frame and change the value a subtle movement like a 65 or 75 now if you play this okay if you press u again you can access the keyframe and uh, yeah same like a you can add a ECEs okay at here uh, you want to add the noise size to zero. So from here, add a keyframe at the end, the noise size will be zero. And uh, you can also adjust this, add a ECEs. Okay, that's the thing you can. I think the initially the noise scale should be a little bigger. Increase this feather for for a smoother transition. And now I'm gonna hide this preview and just play. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, now we're gonna add some uh, the rotation to this. Uh, so if you wanna rotate this model. Now the easiest way, go to the transform of this model one and null object, just create an, a new null object. So this is the one, but the problem we, okay, now if you are, okay, I'll show you the, if you are just uh, rotating this null, you can see only that uh, the first new object is rotating, but the second model is not rotating. So to avoid that problem, go to the model to transform and again for that create a new null and uh, it will be look like this now just parent these two nulls together into one of these null now animate if you're animating it will rotate both together so you can go here add a keyframe 
and at the five second uh, you can add a keyframe like this so it will be like it will get an animation something like this now if you want very detailed one you can go to camera press p for access the position and hold the shift key and press uh, a the point of interest like the anchor point enable then put a keyframe for both and go to the last keyframe and adjust your camera the keyframe will be added automatically so now you can okay i think from here you can start you can create something like this so this is the uh, technique now if you want to add more detailing go to the Gaussian splatting plugin and uh, go to FX and color grading you can add the more uh, contrast into this and uh, you can increase the vibrance and you can increase the saturations yeah you can also change the hue if you really want and yeah you can adjust all these values and if you go to the model 2 and the same effects and uh, color grading you can increase you can do the same thing increase the contrast a little bit and vibrance a little bit if you're changing hue it will be like this so i'm just uh, reset the hue and you can increase the brightness a little bit there are a lot of ways that you can uh, use this plugin with the transition with the uh, some trending reels and there are many and uh, there's unlimited opportunities with this uh, plugin so try it out and uh, show your creativity and yeah stay tuned for more tutorials